Uh, my name's Ollie Wright. I've been uh, here for 12 years now. Um, I'm the assistant manager of the Little. Thirty-five mil is well. It's still with us. Um, it's gradually being sort of phased out now. Digital. The first digital films sort of rolled out to cinemas, sort of early two thousand ish, um, and there are still plenty of cinemas in the UK that don't have digital equipment that are that are fully thirty-five mil. Um, they tend to be the smaller cinemas, um, bigger change like like us, despite being sort of indie in feel, um, with we are owned by a big company. Um, tend to be getting rid of their 35 projectors. We've still got ours because they still belong to the lady who owns the building. So there's no, there's no rush to, for, for ours to leave. And we still use 35 mil. Um, and recently it's become a bit of a trend to release prints on 35 mil. For instance, Dunkirk was the last one. Christopher Nolan insisted that some shows be 35. It's a slightly tricky point for, for cine purists, some like myself, as to whether digital is better than 35. It's very similar to sort of, it's vinyl better than MP3 or CD. Um, digital does look better. Um, it's, it's unlikely to go wrong. Um, 35 could often be scratched quite easily. You have to be very, very gentle with the prints, especially if you had the film for like, you know, a three week run. It would invariably get a little bit tatty and scratched. There's no chance of that with digital. Um, so I think more and more cinemas, the ones who are still using 35, are gradually phasing over, because mainly because of the cost. Um, I don't think your average audience is going to notice much difference. Um, and in fact, with something like Dunkirk, it, it's billed as this is how it should be seen, it's 35. But people did notice that it didn't look as good. It's, that's, that's the tricky point to market, is that, um, that it's, it's traditional film. But it's, it's probably not going to be as, as sharp as you would imagine. Um, so it's kind of tricky to get that, you know, that message across when we do show 35. Um, but I'm glad it's still here. Definitely. Part of the original idea behind um, one of the ideas wasn't just financial. Um, with going to digital, was that there would be more a bigger range of film screens. Um, from, from foreign cinema to, to you know, very obscure, kind of proper um, arty stuff that you wouldn't normally see because the cost of striking a print, the cost of distributing it and getting it out there would be too high. So uh, and part of the reason for the change to digital was to, to sort of facilitate more variety. I don't recall anyone ever commenting saying, oh, this must be digital because it doesn't look like proper film. I'm sure there's a few purists here and there who would prefer old school film, um, but it, it hasn't really affected us. It's um, it's meant we can show a variety of things. Um, it's I mean it sounds like a really small point, but it, it saves space as well because a huge, huge, big trunk of six reels. You know, if we had sort of say seven or eight different shows a week, there's a lot of space that needs to be taken up, and also a lot of um, maintenance to break those films down and send them back and digital you know it's just it's just they're just on the shelf and they're sent back straight away as soon as they're dealt with so um, behind the scenes it's, it's affected us um, in a good way but um, in terms of audience I don't think anyone would have noticed really it is a big question and for a for a long time I was a bit puffy puffy that we'd gone digital um, that there was no more film mainly for a slightly selfish point and that 
in my cinema career I'd never done projection and just as I started to learn 35 um, I think I put one film on and that was it and then we went to digital and Sex and the City 2 was, was the film um, Art House Classic there um, and then we went fully digital um, I I think I'm sort of used to it now it's it's the way that films are projected um, it looks great I'm I'm less of a purist about it um, especially when we get 35 in and it's as I say that it's difficult to, to explain to the audience that what they're getting is an authentic kind of old school cinema experience um, I think perhaps there's a perception that film is better than, than digital that's a very debatable point it's it's um, it's better in some people's minds because it's classic and it's what film is um, but in terms of presentation I'm I'm very much behind digital. Um, I, I'm used to it now. I see all the all the all the delights with it, um, and so yeah, I suppose I'm a digital fellow now.